card. I swear, I think I need a makeup artist. Be making me up anytime I want to do my video. <laughs> you better say the money not too much. I need a makeup artist. Huh? Just like all those celebrities. But well, if anybody can be doing it for free for me, stop. Please, eh? Come. For free. Oh. For free. So what's up guys, it's a boy again, I hope you guys are doing okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So there was an incident recently that happened in Dubai yesterday with Davido. Davido had to stop a show because of uh, his uh, 60,000 US dollar range. Like, this guy literally stopped the whole show for Dubai. Now we know one thing about Dubai. Dubai people know the thief. You can draw something here in Dubai Street and eh? drop something on the floor on, in Dubai Street. Go to your house, spend three days in your house, come back, you are going to see that valuable there. Nobody's going to pick it. Well, Dubai lost his ring. He thought he lost the ring, but he never lost the ring. So, check out the video. <laughs> My ring, I lost my ring, I lost my ring. You have to stop the whole show because of his ring. His ring. 60,000 US dollars. Well, if I'm that rich as David Doyle, what will make you richer? It's not by losing things now. It's about gaining, right? So why will I want to lose 60,000 US dollar ring and just keep quiet? If I'm rich, I like David Doyle. Huh? I want to become richer. Hmm? Not uh, poorer. And you don't get richer by losing stuff. You get uh, richer by gaining stuff. So why will I be losing sixty thousand US dollar ring? That means I'm becoming poorer now, and I want to get richer. How much is he? Is he paid for that show? And even though he's been paid, I know he will way more than sixty thousand US dollars. But come on, man, Abba, I call the lose ring like that. I call the lose a ring like that. Abba, crazy now. Well, I love the way he stopped the show and uh, asked for his ring back. Gently. He thought he lost it, but he someone held it for him, collected the ring and wore it back. This artist, I think it's about time this artist, well, we are still going to go back to Mayoku incident that happened in Calabar, when Mayoku lost his, uh, his chain worth millions, but now he's asking for it. I think he got one. But before then, let's talk about uh, Chris Brown and David Doe. David Doe made a remark about Chris Brown. Never had David Doe said this about Chris Brown before. But this time, I don't know, because of uh, the festive period, the period of love and happiness, David Doe gave a shout out to Chris Brown on stand for gifting him 3 million US dollars. Gifting him 3 million US dollars. So, so we don't know how he gave him 3 million US dollars, maybe through collaboration. And so many other things he assisted him with. Thank you for putting three million dollars in my pocket. Thank you. Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me talk to all my sexy ladies. What's up? I may not see you. What are you doing? Come on.
We know David Do for hyping things too much, but David Do will not blow when it said, Thank you for putting 3 million US dollars in my pocket. I don't think he's bluffing. So we do not know whether it was substantial 3 million US dollars or maybe he got that 3 million US dollars through working with him recently and maybe other collaborations or maybe Chris Barr assisted him somehow, somehow that made him get 3 million US dollars. You know, this is the kind of friendship I want to make. This is the kind of friendship I want to make. You know, friendship that will assist me. Three million US dollar now as more money. Huh? That's the kind of friendship I want to nowadays. Don't go making friendship that I just want to take from you. It's friendship that will make you richer. Friendship that will make you richer. Just like that 60k ring. Abba. I will lose 60k ring. 60k dollars. So. 60k ring. Am I trying to get poorer or I'm trying to get richer? What am I doing? I'm hustling. I'm going to show to try to get richer. And whenever I'm losing stuff, I'm not getting richer. I'm getting poorer. So come on, man. So what am I doing? Why am I even going to all those shows if I want to get poorer? So David, don't stop me that show to ask for his ring. Absolutely correct. If it's me, I'm going to be able to do more. Am I able to have the security to ransack? Then let's talk about the Dubai itself. Dubai is no people have done video review that you can leave your car in the middle of Dubai, like in the center of Dubai, anywhere in Dubai, you can leave your car huh? and your phones and valuables inside that car. Leave it somewhere in Dubai, travel to anywhere in the world, spend like one month or a couple of days come back as long as that car is not parked wrongly even if that car is parked wrongly when you come back the authority will carry that car and keep your valuables but if it's not parked wrongly it's parked somewhere and the car is not locked or lie people have done it i've seen review you will come back to find your valuables and that car intact nothing we are put to it in the United States of America, you won't try that. You won't try that in the United States of America. You won't try that in many of other big, big cities. You won't try that. You won't. There are few cities that can boast about that. And again, Saudi Arabia as well. You won't try that. In Saudi Arabia, you won't dare take anybody's thing. Because we know Sharia law is equal is there as well. When you go to Saudi Arabia, it's even way more safer. According to review, it's even way more safer than it's even way more safer than Dubai. Keep your stuff there. You are going to see, see them in that. In fact, when you stay in Saudi Arabia, possibly they will ever decide to cut your hand off. So why would you ever want to steal when you know for a fact that they are going to remove one of your hand? Because they, they do as Sharia laws. Well, let's move past that and let's talk about Miyoko. Miyoko have uh, some, uh, uh, let me say, favorable news for his uh, panda that was stolen. So yesterday, he announced that he met with uh, the Cross River State Governor. He said, just met with the Governor of Cross River State. Prince Basi Utu he assured me that Calabar people re remain very hospitable and he has also stressed that I will be compensated for my valuable loss. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, you'll be compensated. You know how much for that change and everything. Then he also said, still searching for my pendant. It's so special to me for many reasons. I have a 5 million naira reward for anyone who finds and return it. Please help spread the word. Ah, but now, 5 million naira is enough now. Use your church mind, just go return the guy uh, pendant. This is the reason why some Nigerians do not like, all those Nigerian artists do not like to perform in Nigeria. Because they, they get humiliated, they get disgraced, 
no all those kind of they steal from them and everything. Come on, man, that pen that is so expensive and is apart from being expensive, is valuable. Those are valuables. Those are stuff that someone somebody can sell. You might be broke tomorrow, no how, nothing. You can easily sell your pen that and get your house. You know, that's why these artists say when they are buying all those diamond chain and everything, we diamond, we valuable channel, we valuable resource. I don't blame them because it's a form of investment for them as well. So please, please, what are you doing? Please, please, please. Hmm? Come on, man. What are you doing? Hmm?